Welcome to CJTV News. In this week's local news, we have Malaysians to prepare to pay higher prices for grocery and food. The Sinchu Daily, a local Chinese newspaper, reported that consumers have to pay an extra of 10% for grocery items and food this year. Consumers have also been told to be prepared for another round of price increase after the Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year delicacies such as preserved meat will see an increase of at least 10%, said the Federation on Sundry Goods, Merchants Associations of Malaysia President Lian Hing Chuan. There is also a possibility that hawker foods price will increase due to the hike in toll prices and electricity and gas charges, although the prices are still remaining the same level. Now, said the Federation of Malaysia Hawkers Association President Li Tiong Chui. In general, Malaysians should be prepared for the hike in prices, especially during festive seasons. Moving on to technology news, Asia-Pacific Internet Builders together at KL Summit. A technical summit on the internet and operational technologies will take place here next month. This 10-day forum targets internet builders, including regional network operators and engineers. It will also feature training activities, workshops, conferences, social events, and more. Scheduled to run from the 23rd of February to 5th of March at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center, the Asia-Pacific Regional Internet Conference on the Operational Technologies, or APRICOT 2010, is expected to draw in 600 participants from over 40 countries. The objective of the forum is to provide the key players in the ICT industry to learn from their peers in the internet building community. Among the topics that will be discussed are security issues, network management, and voice over internet protocol, which is a technology that enables phone calls via the web. APRICOT is organized by the Asia and Pacific Internet Association, which is a non-profit trade association. The conference is supported by the Science, Technology and Innovation Ministry, Information Communications and Culture Ministry, and the Multimedia Development Corporation. Moving on, bankers apologized for the recent financial crisis in this week's international news. Top Wall Street bankers apologized for risky behavior that led to the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. The bankers, whose companies collectively received more than $100 billion in taxpayer assistance to weather the crisis, offered no regrets for executive pay that is now likely to increase as a result of their survival. They did say they are correcting some compensation practices that could lead to excessive risk-taking. Next, China affirms control over internet. Google has threatened to quit China over censorship and hacking intensified U.S.-China tensions as Washington said internet control was a serious issue and demanded an explanation from Beijing. Beijing has made no significant comment since Google said it will not abide by censorship and may shut its Chinese language Google.cn website because of attacks from China using its Gmail service and on companies. Differences over the internet now seem sure to intensify tensions between the United States and China, joining friction over climate change, trade, human rights, and military ambition. China has said it does not sponsor hacking. Its officials have also accused the West of seeking to undermine China's one-party rule by backing dissidents and campaigns against censorship. <music> Lastly, your smartphone can save the world one dollar at a time. Advocacy organizations are mounting a mobile marketing push to promote more responsible shopping with apps that give consumers the scoop on how a corporation's policies and actions align with the shopper's own views on issues like sustainability and human rights. 
the apps encourage consumers to only buy products and shop at retailers that share the same moral pillars as the shopper. Smartphones are changing the way people are living their lives. The apps influence spending decisions, and this is the next evolution of that, Scott Allison, mobile retail analyst for IDC said. Advocates are hoping that change in consumer behavior will translate into change in corporate behavior. That's all from me, Ilya, for Cyberjai TV.